Hello and welcome. I'm Jake, and I'm going to be giving you a quick tour of Azure Stack HCI 23H2 in the Azure portal. Quick disclaimer, uh, Microsoft's doing a ton of development, and chances are the day this gets posted, there's already going to be some new features and improvements. So if you think this is helpful, let us know, and I'll try and get an updated video put out frequently. Thanks, and let's jump into it. So here we're jumping into the Azure portal, and we're going to be going to the Azure Stack HCI service here. Now if you don't have it here, uh, no problem. You can just search up in the top here, and you'll be able to find it. And then once we get in here, uh, we've got the overview page. Now this is going to roll up all of your clusters into one dashboard for you, showing everything for basics like cluster connectivity, uh, how many clusters need updates or are up to date, rolling up all of the alerts into one view, and showing you all your nodes, your virtual machines, your Azure Kubernetes clusters. Um, but my preference is the all clusters page. And this is going to give you a table of all the clusters, showing you the basics you need to know, like how many nodes, connection status, like, hey, this one's not connected because this is a demo environment, and this one probably got taken offline quite a while ago. As well as other things like, hey, these clusters are up to date, but these ones need updates. Now, because this is a demo environment, we have lots of one and two node clusters in here. And that is one of the cool things about Azure Stack HCI. You can do a single node cluster and you get all the same management and capabilities minus the ability to handle a physical server failure. So we can jump into this demo cluster here and it'll land us on an overview page. And this is gonna give some pretty basic info here. Uh, how many physical cores does this cluster have? What OS version and build is it on? What resource group is it in? All those basics. And then we can also see the basics on each node in the cluster. What model is it? What's the serial number? Cores, RAM? that stuff. Like I said, this is a single node cluster, so there's just one in this list here. But it also gives us monitoring of the cluster. And this is going to be the basics for you. Got your CPU percentage, memory, network, and disk. Nothing groundbreaking here, but a quick view of the cluster can also change it to zoom out to a greater time period or zoom in uh, closer. If you want advanced monitoring here, you're going to go down to the metrics section. And this is going to let you pull up whatever metrics you're looking for on the table here. And you can change the time. You can choose what granularity you want. Uh, so typically, of course, you want to see as granular as possible, one minute. But maybe for 30 days, that doesn't isn't quite what you're looking for. So for example, this chart's awfully busy, showing one minute granularity for seven days. Now, maybe that's what you want because you wanted to see this spike and zoom in on it and check that out. But maybe not uh, because what I showed here was the max CPU, not average or minimum. So maybe we actually want to see the maximum CPU for every five minute period. And if we zoom in a little, 
That'll make it a little less. But... No, because I didn't do that right. There we go. A little less busy. Now, another cool thing is you can overlay metrics. So I've already got CPU percentage on here, but I can go ahead and throw on memory percentage and have those overlaid on the same graph, or I could add a new chart below it for comparing a completely different metric. That's not going to stack well in the same graph. Um, you know, IOPS be a good one. Uh, IOPS, you probably got a lot more than, you know, your, uh, 70 percent here. Uh, so lots of cool stuff here and you can probably tell it's pretty snappy. Now, anything you can pull up in these metrics here, you can also use for alerts. Now, I made some trigger a little while ago to have stuff in here to show. Uh, you can see these are all resolved now, but I made some storage pool errors happen. Now, for these errors, you can have them email, set off other actions, all sorts of stuff. But one of the cool things is they've got recommended alerts. So all you have to do to get started for alerting on an Azure Stack cluster is click set up recommended alerts. And it's going to have all of these ready to be built. Percentage CPU, available memory, volume latency, network, that kind of stuff. And I've got it set to just email me, but there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can tell it to do. Now, a uh, cluster isn't particularly helpful without any workloads running on it. So let's take a look at virtual machines today, because I'm pretty sure that's the main use case for most of you. Now here we get a list of the virtual machines with not a ton of info because there's not a ton to see here, but clicking into a VM, we're once again going to get an overview page with the basics, how many cores, how much RAM, what's the operating system, but we're also going to see some networking. So you'll be able to see the IP addresses on the network interfaces of the VM which can be pretty handy. You can also go in for your basics that you need to do on the sizing, change the number of cores, change the RAM, the stuff you're going to do there. You can add a data disk in if you need another disk or remove a disk, change the size, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, but you can also get pretty much the same metrics. Now, for VMs, I like to look at the Insights page, because I think it's got some cool extra stuff in here. Uh, the Performance page is going to give you a lot of the same info, but it's got it uh, pre-plotted out on different charts here for your CPU utilization, available memory, some stuff on the disk, network and then at the top you can also see hey that c drive it's using 10 percent obviously nothing to worry about there but maybe uh read latency would be of concern on a volume that you can see in here but it's also got this map now this is a basic demo VM, so it doesn't have much going on, but uh, think about the server workloads you've got. This can be really helpful there, because you can see this VM has been reaching out to other things, and it's reached out to 17 servers on port 443. I'm sure these are all going to be public, Azure, that kind of stuff. 
because uh, this is a unused virtual machine. So, not a lot you have to do. A lot of things are really handled for you with Azure Stack HCI. Uh, but hopefully this gives you a good overview. Uh, if there's something else you want to see, let me know. I've already got a few more videos planned uh, and do demos where you can ask me how to do something every day of the week. So don't be afraid to reach out and have a good rest of your day.